Hi, right, g'day, my name's Mark. I wanna quickly tell you why I upgraded to the Spiral Cutter Head for this DeWalt. So why did I do the upgrade? Well, it was the noise. I tipped the neighbor over the edge. Uh, his words, Mark, that sounds like a jet engine in the backyard. So I bit the bullet, did the upgrade. Just with the, with the machine now turned on, it is dramatically quieter. So the way the air flows over the blades, as opposed to the three knives, it's much quieter. Now where it gets really good is when the machine is under load. Once it starts digging into that timber, it actually quietens things down again, quite dramatically, as opposed to the screaming nightmare that was the three blades, which when I was planing the hundreds of pieces of red gum with the dull blades, that's when things are a little bit awkward with the neighbor. Now, the performance with the spiral cutter head. I've had this installed for about seven months. Now, let me just put up a heap of the projects that I've done in that last seven months. And as you can see, every project has heaps of timber going through the machine. I work with pallet wood. I work with a lot of pallet wood to get my projects done. Now, this thing has not skipped a beat. It is not showing any signs of the blades dulling. Um, Again, as opposed to the three knives, I would have had to replace those blades or have them sharpened a few times throughout that same time period. What I really love about this cutter head is I've got no problem now uh, feeding the big slabs through this machine, using up the full width or the full capacity. Um, as a, before with the knives, I would have made my slabs slightly smaller just to take a little bit of the load off the machine um, and as they would dull, I would find myself pushing or pulling the, the timber through, which is not ideal because I just didn't want to have to replace the blades again. Now, it doesn't skip a beat. I just keep sending those through. As you can see in, in a couple of these projects, the, the sort of stuff I'm talking about. Okay, maintenance is far better now. If you happen to hit a little nail with the spiral cut head, all you have to do, pop the top, turn a couple of blades that are affected, and you are back in the game. Uh, before you hit a nail with the three blades, they needed to be removed and taken off, get them sharpened. Again, costing money. Alrighty, now the economics of this. It, it is a bit of a, it is a fair bit of money to outlay to do this upgrade. Now, let's just look at it from my experience. So in the first 12 months, I went through both sets of blades that came with the machine and I had both of those sets of blades sharpened twice. So there's, the double-sided blade, so that's 12 sides of knives that I went through in 12 months. Now, that's just money going out the door. It's it's time, it's a little bit annoying pulling them out completely. Now, seven months in, and I think I'll get to the 12-month mark, I can't see me needing to rotate these teeth at all at the 12-month mark. Now, I can't do the mass that quickly in my head, but the fact that I've done nothing yet in seven months, that hasn't cost me any money, so I think you can see that it's quickly going to pay for itself. So the money alone, long-term, is definitely worth the upgrade, but all the other things I've talked about, um, it's just a far more enjoyable machine to use. And this, this particular machine is a beast. With the spiral cutter head, it is now a phenomenal beast. Oh, and the finish, the finish from these knives is so good. It, they're pretty much ready to go when they pop out the other side. So having heard all of that, I think it is a really good upgrade. Like putting a spiral cutter head in any machine is gonna be a fantastic upgrade. And you can actually get these cutter heads through Timbercon in their Perth, Melbourne or online stores. Um, and I really think that you will enjoy upgrading this machine. It just makes planning way more fun. Anyway, my name's Mark. I do run a little channel called Dana Made. And you can also find me over on Instagram if you want to come say good day and see what I'm up to. All right. Catch you later.